Okay, hi there, I'm back. This is uh, part two of the uh, weapon setup uh, since I kind of ran out of time in the first video. Um, so what I'm going to do since, you know, the mace is um, pretty much set up already, um, I'm going to go ahead and do one of the weapons. So um, I'm just going to do the pistol first. So if we go to the first person view, Sorry, gotta wait for it to. So there's the mace. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up this pistol because in this view we've kind of already set it up. So I'm gonna hit pause. I'm gonna uh, open it up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the prior video we made this Mace Soldier Final. So if I open this up, if you remember we hid all the weapons except for the Mace. So I'm going to call this one Pistol Soldier. I'm just going to put Final just to be consistent. Alright, so I'm going to make put this into my prefabs. So now what we need to do is we need to hide the mace and show the pistol. Um, so kind of what we did before is we uh, move this around so that the arm kind of looks right. So right now uh, the arm needs to be kind of adjusted. And this will be a good cha good opportunity to add in another arm. So since we have our left arm out here, uh, we could certainly... Uh, what I typically do is I move it down. I know it looks weird here, but just don't worry about that. Um, so I move it down, kind of rotate it, uh, probably want to rotate it like that, and then you work your way down the arm, kind of do similar, um, it, you know, kind of looks weird, but you kind of get the idea of, um, you do your adjustments, And you can move different fingers. Usually the thumb is the key that you want to kind of adjust. So you make the changes that you want. Uh, the gun's kind of off. Basically, you go through the process of setting up the arms how you want them. Uh, sometimes you're going to want to stretch out the left arm um, just to make it look better, kind of get your alignment out. Um, so once you do that, you're going to apply it. So we're going to have the next uh, weapon set up, and you're going to do this for all the weapons. You can do it for your revolver, any weapons you have in the hand. So that's why. Uh, when I set this up, I've got this, all of them. So if you had 20 weapons, you're going to set them all up in this model. And you're just going to rename each one of them. So this one's my pistol, and then we'll do one for the revolver, and one for the machine gun. So I'm going to delete it. Go to my pistol. Rendering first person is going to be we put final in the end, so we got final. So we got our mace final and we got our pistol final. So when I hit play, I'm gonna go to the pistol. All 
right, so on the pistol, you know, we've got it up. I've got the full game view here. So you're going to need to change these uh, render settings. Um, so you just kind of adjust them. This is in regular mode. Uh, you can see the pistol's kind of, it needs to be straightened out. Arms look kind of weird, so you're going to really want to adjust these. Um, the pivot, if we look right here, if we hit the show pivot, see it's down here. So any of these adjustments, it moves it left, right, up, down, and forward and backward. Um, this can have an effect on um, how the gun pivots, um, how the arms pivot. See? kind of move it around. Um, so really the thing to do is just kind of you know play with it. Um, if you want to have more details on the pivot just kind of look at the manual um, and then just click the sh show pivot. So you're gonna you're gonna edit these uh, basically the crosshair see it's kind of right there. Um, so I don't like the way the rendering is, the zoom. So you can change your field of view. You can either have it zoom far away, but see right here, I can see the arm. So that's too far. So move it here. Maybe 35. And I might move the gun down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these gonna pause the game and I'm gonna paste my settings. So it updated all these settings including this. So when we hit play it's gonna be uh, right back where it was. See? So the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to adjust your zoom settings. So I click zoom and this actually isn't that bad. So you're gonna want to do the same thing can raise it, lower it, and go left or right, forward or backward. Um, on here, you're probably going to want to change your rotation as well. So you can kind of see um, how the rotation, and this is where uh, the pivot really makes a big difference on um, how well the gun, uh, how you can kind of manipulate it. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to adjust it. So I'm going to pause. Okay, so what I did is I manipulated all these settings, uh, uh, the rendering, position springs, and the rotation springs. And then what I did is I wrote so I'm still in the uh, zoom state. I wrote these all these numbers down and now I'm going to go and edit. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to go ahead and edit this pistol zoom state. Um, so I'm going to uh, copy it or duplicate it. And I'm going to rename this to my soldier. I'll just call it final. Um, I'm going to move this up into my uh, prefabs under my weapons prefab so that I know that this is the one that I updated, I edited. So you're going to need to uh, make this change for uh, pretty much any um, gun weapon that you create. So you're going to go in, you're going to double click it, and then you're going to go through, uh, once it opens, you're going to go through and you're going to update it. So for instance, the uh, first one that we did, 
was this position offset. So if you look at your offset, you're just going to change the first number to whatever you wrote down, the next number, so I need three numbers, and then the next number. Um, sometimes you will find where they're not on here. So like position exit offset is on not on here. So right here it says position exit offset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another one. Position exit offset. Um, if you're not sure what it's called, you can look at some of the other uh, some of the other um, component presets and then copy it. So, so you can see here I'm adding uh, new numbers and you're basically you're going to go through and you're going to update all of them. After you're done updating them, so I had to add a couple here on the bottom, uh, you're just going to save it. It might say whatever, I just hit convert, that's fine. And then on the particular weapon, so this is the pistol, um, the states, I'm changing this zoom, so the zoom is the one I just updated. And then when you hit play, and you zoom in on that particular weapon, it's going to be zoomed in. See? So you're going to want to do that for each of your weapons. Uh, you, you'll do similar for the mace. Um, so you can see right now it's not it's not set up good, but you're going to just the mace is a little bit easier. Um, so you'll just go through the mace and you'll change the rendering and the position. So I'll do that real quick. Um, you can kind of adjust it where you want it. Uh, change the field of view. You might want it further out. Uh, you might want to change the pivot. Um, so you might want to move the arm actually closer and change the field of view further so that when, and then what you can do is you can copy these so that when you swing it, it doesn't um, cut off the arm. Alright, you can see with some um, just tweaking of the um, settings for the mace, I was able to get it, um, you know, I changed the render settings, field of view, I changed uh, the position offsets and the pivot, the spring, um, I made a couple of changes here in the rotation and basically what I end up with is a uh, um, oh and I also updated the fingers so they're bent a little bit I mean obviously this is a low poly model but it still looks okay and then if you switch back and forth um, in a later video what I'll do is I'll show you how to change the animator that comes with UFPS so that you can have multiple um, animations for the attack. So in this future one, what I did is I took this Ratkin um, from Mr. Nick Durs, and I made it where in this third person view, see it's the rat guy, um, notice I have a bunch of different animations. You got stab animation, I've got four different animations set up here. So I, I, I edited the um, animator controller and I'll show you how to do that in another video.